Sentence, 12 lessons. My heart will never stand here, Doctor. That's it. I have been under treatment. Thank you, Doctor. Thanks, man. Carl Marsden, for insubordination. Sentence, 20 lessons. Good for twice the number, by the look of things. You will soon learn that it's better to keep your mouth shut than to do as you're told. Thank you. I have no wish to become a Nazi. We shall also teach you that insolence does not pay. In the aid of those tenors of Nazi culture. The whip and the jackboot. Silence! I shall say what I like! 
You hate the truth. Because in the end, we destroy you into a bankrupt philosophy. You will perish because you have nothing to offer. Because you can't forever replace tolerance and decency with the brute force. Because you... Stand away from him. Get back to your work. I'm a desperate character. I was in school and speak more. I was ordered to abolish our language, to teach in German, to learn the Hitler Nazi would be there. You learn? Have you? My father was killed two years ago. I always went back with him. Hey? I was at school there. They arrested me to find out where he was hiding. And the cop I couldn't tell me. That's all. Angel. Huh? You like to him? Well, he's been a fool. I should have had my tongue in it and waited. We shall never end it here. No? Somehow, I must join my father. Oh. But we have friends outside. But between them and us? There must be a way. Last search on Machine gun, barbed wire. I should take any risk if I thought I was a chance. But there isn't one. There isn't one of us who doesn't lie awake. Keep your mouth shut! No, Your Honor! Get back, I told you! It should be in England in an hour or two. But it'll be night then. We don't think we're going ashore without any passports in broad daylight. In broad daylight. Uh, good evening. 
I should like to see Dr. Fredericks. Had an appointment? No, but uh, if you would give me my name. It is Mars. Carl Mars. Well, uh, will you come and see him? Thank you. Now, if you will take this to Gildes, the opticians, they're just around the corner. If you mention my name, they will make up your little girl's glasses at a reduced charge. Thank you, Doctor. And don't worry. With care, she will grow up. Thank you, Doctor. Good night. Good night. There's a gentleman to see you, Doctor, Mr. Martin. Martin? Oh, very well, show me. Oh, Doctor, I'm sorry. I was expecting you. Oh, no, no, no. Come in. 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 Any sense of what? Mm, yes, sir. It will be good enough to sit in this chair, please. Thank you. Warm this evening, isn't it? Rather. I'm sure it will be a storm for it. Now, will you read the top line, please? K M S Q R Y. And now the line underneath? M O two. Six, seven, three, G. I don't think that is quite right. Will you repeat it, please? N, O, two, six, seven, three, G. How did it I am Hitler. Well, I have to report that on instructions from Gestapo headquarters, I successfully made contact with the woman Bomash in concentration camp number four, the Reich Protectorat of Bohemia. I escaped with her as arranged on the 27th of July and came ashore this morning at 11.15 from the train of Stovenland. We are staying at an apartment house at 124 Paddington Lane, Maribyrn. Good. She has, of course, made no attempt to locate her father. No, I'm awaiting your instructions. This is all we know. Bomash is working for the British General here. Well, we have no idea. He is certainly well hidden and well guarded. Therefore, we must move cautiously. Understood, sir. So do not appear too eager. Impress upon her that you are aliens and must move carefully. Suggest that she places an advertisement to this effect in the personal column of the London Times, signed perhaps with some nickname which her father will know at once. You will see that that advertisement is repeated daily until it is answered. When that happens, you will report to me instantly. You understand? Yes, sir. That is all. I did. I did not. I see that fellow Ribbentrop going to Moscow. Mm, so did Napoleon. Office in Pleasant Street. A letter is waiting for you containing a waiver. Go to the destination on the ticket, and when you get to the town, ask for a man named Gus Bennett. Is that the name? Gus Bennett. Yes, but who do I ask? Well, everyone there knows Gus Bennett. He's got nothing else to wait on. That is most important. Hello? Hello? Same mode he songs from nine in the morning. The human battle organ he is. 
may be denied, but hearts can love when love's inside, for only love can lead the way as time rolls on and on. A song of the century, when home sweet home and lorry have forgotten, this song will live on now, no. Only the bicycle stick and rock. Sixpence, sir, the ballad of the age. Only love can lead the way. Here, buy a copy of the Sergeant Major. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, anyone else, for buy a copy of this haunting melody. How's that you hold it for sixpence, sir? In the flesh, you want me to order it? Now, throw that in. I'm Anna Bullmash. How do you do? Don't go away, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to see you again yet. I was told to come and see you, Mr. Gale. Hmm? Who by? I don't know. Is it Dad? Well, somebody phoned me. They said you'd have news in my father. Your father? Never heard of it. Somebody put it in the leg. Only love can lead the way in Sonic so far. We do the Sonic and you so far. Thank you, madam. Yeah, don't go away. I'm going to tear up another number, then we have a talk. I'm not going to sing the sentimental song here to the year. They say it's the hand that rocks the cradle that rules the world. And believe me, it's songs like this that did it. It's true. Oh, what it does to me to know it's true. She loved me. Are you sure it was just anything they said? Yes, I'm certain. Your father's not the song business? No. Oh, dear me, how do you lose it? He escaped. Escaped? You mean he's still in love? Oh, uh, you haven't seen him since? No. You see, I was in a concentration camp. Where? Really? Where? Near Prague. Prague? You here by yourself? Yes. Anyone know you're here? No. Do you like another of these? No, thank you. Elsie? Splendid. Extraordinary. Well, there's an answer to this. You don't know my father, you don't know anything about him, and you can't help me. Is that him? think that Herr Bomash is there for his health. The United States across the bay is the doctor's naval base. The report says he's been there three times in the last week. We're probably conducting experiments, sir. Precisely. We can't afford to delay a moment longer. There's another reason for haste. Any day now, Poland may provoke us into invading her in self-defense. England will not stand by Poland. We have the personal assurance of Herr von Ribbentrop as to that. Mm, so I understand. Nevertheless, instruct Fredericks that we are putting our arrangements in hand at once. Very good. The doctor lets me go around, completely unaware. It's just another ordinary day. You meet a sweet, who sweets you off. Your heart skips a beat and runs away. You can't recall the tender thoughts to show how much you care. You can't think of a single thing to say. You are weak, so deep. You talk, but you don't speak. Your heart skips a beat and runs away. It may be Tuesday or Sunday. Thursday or Monday. No, 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 no. First up, I stopped it. Why? I gave instructions. What are my private letters to do with you? Postmark, a dangerous thing. This letter's to a friend of mine. British? No. Refugee. I'm not going to be cross-examined. I must remind you that the government pay me a wage. Small, but regular, to look after your father. It's obviously not small enough. You don't suppose I'd write to anybody I couldn't trust. Why, if it wasn't for Carl, I wouldn't be here. Who is that? Well, he escaped with me. Did you never tell him? I told my father. What do you mean? Well, if I didn't, it's simply because Carl is an alien without a passport. He was afraid he might be deported. Then you not? No. What are you doing? Just want to check out my own. You ever heard of an organized escape? Organized? The evil of your father. But that's fantastic. Carl doesn't even know where I am. You sure of that? Of course. I told no one. Good. Honestly, I don't want to throw a monkey wrench into the mess. Thank you. I appreciate that you're inspired by the highest motives. And that you go to any lengths to pursue them. Any lengths? Even to exhibiting yourself in public as a singer. Well, it makes you endowed me with a gift, and I just accept it, that's all. It's a pity it didn't endow you with a voice. Nothing that happened to me in that concentration camp was quite as dreadful as listening to you day after day singing those appalling songs. With those few words, you've knocked the bottom out of my entire existence. Pity I only knocked it. Mr. Burmash, about? Yes, he is. Admiral Borman sent his compliments. We'd like Mr. Burmash to have dinner with you this evening, and his daughter. Mm, I tell him. But just a minute. Didn't Admiral Borman leave the Mediterranean last Tuesday? No, he's aboard the flagship, lying off Dartmouth. But I understood that... Isn't he going too far out for Dartmouth?
trying to go with the tea on Sunday. I don't know what to do. Well, she wants you to remind Beryl to bring some recipe for pickling walnuts or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Randall. How are you? You look disgustingly boom, as you saw. Well, yes, you slept up rather badly, haven't you? Yeah, well, it wasn't exactly his fault. We all know about Carl Marston. Well, the war officer was thinking about it. They take the view that this armor plating of Bomex will make all the difference in the next war. Probably nothing of the sort, but maybe you're right. And by tonight, Bomex will be in Berlin. We won't lose no time before putting a screws on the poor devil. Tomorrow night. That means he won't be at the Admiral's room till next eve. Saturday morning. That's about it. Why? 24, nearly 48 hours. Why, what are you driving at? Well, they got him out of England. Why shouldn't I get him back? But that's quite impossible. Why? I never went out. I was three years in Berlin. You mean England Army? Robson Island. What about the Polish situation? Germany may march at any moment. Yes, they do. I shall be back before then. No, sir. Well, you know perfectly well I can't give you permission to do it. Well, the fact you make a request at all shows not yourself. Don't you think so, Gaskin? Oh, no, I quite agree with you. I suggest you take a week's sick leave to enable you to get a complete change of air. Hmm? Thank you, sir. I understand. I think it might be very good for both of us. Mm -hmm. I should like to have a little chat about it. Yes, I think so. Uh, well, uh, Charles, you won't forget about that recipe, will you? No, no, I'll remember. Now, look here, I don't know what your plans are, but I simply want a few letters of introduction. Mm -hmm. Center Königs Wusterhausen calling. Early this morning, the Polish force attacked Germany. The Führer immediately gave orders to our glorious army to invade Poland and to destroy these intolerable aggressors of peace loving Germany. Level High Command, Herr Mayor. Thank you, Richard. I ring you tonight. Otherwise, good luck. Identity cards. All identity cards. All identity cards to be shown. All identity cards. All identity cards to be shown. Identity cards? Come on, come on, come on. I've worked here for ten years. You guess how the fellow first got the job. Oh, this is a fine country to live in. Hey. What's that? Nothing. Name, department. Files, records, intelligence. Report that, madam. Excellent, officer. I'll have men like you at home. We have nothing to fear, nothing. I have a letter of appointment to command at Camp Where can I find it? Second floor, sir. This is a very grave matter. Very grave. It has just been reported to me that you've been heard expressing sentiments hostile to the fatherland. Not to me, sir. What is it? Major Herzog to see you. He asked me to give you this. Can't you see I'm engaged? I warn you, Sharp, such reasonable conduct will lead you to a concentration camp. But, sir, what did I say? You were distinctly heard to remark, this is a fine country to live in. Oh, no, sir. There's some mistake. No, what I said was, this is a fine country to live in. Hmm? Are you sure? Yes, sir. Hmm. I see. Well, in future, don't make remarks that can be taken two ways. Much wiser not to talk politics at all. Yes, sir. Here we go. I'll hit that. I'll hit that. This is a fine country to live in. This is a fine country to live in. This is a bloody awful country to live in. Can I come and get out the door, sir? Uh, yes, yes. Major Herzog. I did that. I did that. Sit down, Major. Yes. Sorry to keep you waiting. This is to introduce to you Major Ulrich Herzog for our engineers. Major Herzog is in Berlin on an important technical mission for which he requires Admiralty assistance. I am sure, my dear Campbell, that you will give him your best cooperation. I did that. Yes, 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 sir. I wish these war these fellows would learn to write properly. Signature might be anything. Whose is it? No idea. As usual, I was taken from one office to another. I suppose it couldn't be Sartre's. Sartre's. Or did he go with the purge? I can't even guess. I believe he did. Mm. Whoever he was, he spoke very highly of you. He did? Not in the office. Not very likely, though. However, the important thing is, what can I do for you? I want to refer to certain technical evidence given before the Naval Heavy Armaments 1935 Committee. If you would let me have a report of the copy, Commander. Certainly. It will take only a moment. I have my own time assistant job. A copy of the Naval Heavy Armaments 1935 Committee's report. Have you been in Berlin long, Major? No. I only left the secret line last Tuesday. Really? How is it there? Things are pretty hectic, I expect. Completely night and day. I was there in a consultative capacity. Field qualifications. We thought that they had heard. Oh, yes, yes, Major. Herzog, of course. 
It's rather like Stoker. And I believe he's doing diplomatic work in the Balkans. And who is that? I'm afraid we haven't a copy of the 935 report, sir. What, sir? We had one the 34, but not 35. Are you sure there was a 35 committee? I sat in it myself as I'm a liaison officer. I beg your pardon. Very well, very well. Suppose at the top people get to send copies on. Perhaps the construction department might be able to help. The very thing. They might have one. I'll ring them at once. No, I'm sorry. No problem at all. Commander Prada, I have with me Major Ulrich Herzog of the Corps of Engineers. He is well known for his splendid technical achievements on our west wall, as you're no doubt aware. He will be greatly obliged if you can give him some assistance. You'll see him at once? Thank you, sir. 1935, you said. I guess I can get hold of a copy for you. Now, Commander Prada, you may be able to help me more directly. You know, I just left the TP line. Mm -hmm. So come, sir. How is it? The crook down is faking his trouble. Confidentially, that's why I am in Berlin. Do you realize the steel used by the Czechs is better than anything we have done? Mm -hmm. So I've heard. But surely now that we can call the hostile works. Not enough. We let the only man who counted there slip through our fingers. Bobosh? Yes, I knew Axel Bobosh personally. He was present at the first gunnery test of his DK faking incredible results. Where is he working for Britain? But if we cannot trace this 1935 report. One moment, Major. It will suffice to hear that Bobosh is no longer in England. What? He was brought back to Germany only a few hours ago. In fact, he's in the city now. You've arranged me to see Hebron at once. I am quite impossible to use the controller. Surely there's no harm in my asking him a few questions. It's beyond my province, Major. I'll pass you on to Captain Wingarten, but frankly, I don't think we can get you any further. The controller's office is rather like the Kingdom of Heaven, and if anything, a little more exclusive. But you are no longer living in a decadent democracy, ruled by a pack of ranking intellectuals. This is the third right, and the Fjord does not tolerate stupid, insolent obstinacy. You have been asked to work for Germany, Hebron, but you will. Don't you leave him alone, you bullying shouted at him ever since we got here. He's had no sleep. Mr. Kite. Can I have another word with you, sir? Please. Anna, it's useless for your father to resist like this. You must persuade him. We will both be given reasonable freedom. Freedom here? And in time, you will see things the way I do, the way everyone in Germany does. I love you. Germany is as much your country as it is ours now. We don't pay the checks. We only wish to protect them. As you're protecting the people of Poland? You've been too long in Britain listening to their smart hypocrisy. If I listen to hypocrisy in Britain, it is not from the British. I was doing my duty. As a citizen of the Reich and a subject of the Führer, for whose sacred mission no sacrifice is too great. It sounds rather like something you learned from a book. For years you had this sort of thing drilled into you until it's all you know or care about. You're a fanatic with a set of stupid fixed ideas. If you hadn't made me hate you more than I thought I could possibly hate anybody, I think I should feel sorry for you. You have expressed yourself very clearly, Fraulein Bromash. You will be placed in a concentration camp until your father comes to his senses. Must you drag my daughter into this? That rests with you, Herr Bromash. Hello? Or here? Very good. Admiral Hassinger is on his way up. The chief of naval staff, Vice Admiral Count Hassinger. Come in, my dear fellow, come in. Now then, this is Lieutenant Major Herzog of the Corps of Engineers. I expect you have heard of him. The man behind the secret line, eh, hey, Herzog? Only one of the men, sir. The Führer is responsible for the line. He is responsible for everything. Well, what progress? You remember me, Herr I did not expect to see you again here. And you, Fräulein Bromash. I see you have not forgotten me. It must be four years. Major Herzog is preparing a highly confidential report on armor plating. He has been on several missions to Strasbourg. He met Bormash there. Just what I want. Marston, conduct Herr Bormash and his daughter into the next room. Herr Bormash? Maybe we shall meet again later. I thought it unwise to speak in front of Bormash. So far we've made no impression on him. I do not agree. He looks ten years older. My orders are to obtain quick results. At a race, we are rather inclined to believe that the knuckle duster is the best diplomatic weapon. Do I understand that you question? I question nothing. I am an army officer. Personally, I do not follow any of this at all. Bomash is not the man to be bullied into cooperation, sir. Well, what did you suggest? I knew Fräulein Bomash in Paris. She has a great influence with her father, and there's one person who can make him change his mind. Oh, Marston, he has tried that, but she refused to listen. He is largely responsible for placing Bomash in England, completely outwitting the British military dangers. May I express a soldier's admiration for what he can carry out his mission under the very eyes of the enemy's secret service? Thank you, sir. 
But if I may say so, I hardly think the captain is a suitable person to influence the ladies. And who do you think would be more suitable? Why, uh, myself, for instance. You! Why not? Such a pretty friend you were in charge, you know. A little more than friendly. You saw the way she looked at me when I came in. Oh, yes, of course. Seems to me you are a bit of a dog, yes, sir. A technician, that one. One doesn't talk about these things, but I think if I were to spend a few hours alone with her, I might induce her to reason with her father. Ooh. What do you think about that, Strata? I cannot promise, mind you. Four years is a long time. It seems to me she's worth attempting. After all, the business is urgent, Strata. It is indeed, sir. You really believe that you could influence a girl in a matter of hours, shall we say, overnight? I see. No crime, Bomber, sir. I doubt whether even his qualities would make any impression on her. Well, I'll consider my politics. I'll let him try it. No harm done if he doesn't succeed. Leave all the arrangements to me. This requires a knowledge of my hoover. Come along, Herr Tom. You may be right, my dear. Bennett may be trying to help us. But why are they bothered to this hotel? Provided you with clothes. Doesn't make sense to me. Oh, Bennett's behind it, obviously. He's organized the whole thing. How? Well, how did he manage to get into the German Admiralty as a Nazi officer? I don't see how it can get us away from here. Oh, Father, don't worry about it. Perhaps you better go to bed now, eh? We'll find out what it's all about in the morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes, sir. Good evening. Your room is number 18. Your bags have been taken up. My class arrived? Yes, sir. The lady has them. Good night. Good night, sir. My darling, you look as charming as ever. Those same sweet lips, like warm carnations. Those sweet, mysterious eyes, darker and softer than the bluish dust of August violets. The poet has it, and I hope you there again. No one under the bed, I trust. I'll bring you a bottle of Philip 28. That'll be excellent. I'm happy with Well, you may have gathered that we were partners in a highly romantic interview in Prague four years ago. By the way, did you like the class? Don't matter, Matthew. It cost me 12 quid. Well, go on. Well, tomorrow morning I'm going to phone the Admiral and say that your father is now prepared to work for Germany. What? I said that I persuaded you to reason. They're bound to ask him to take his books along. But the staff went downstairs less fast. And then instead of. How do you know you are? Well, I'm listening to the phone. I always do. Then instead of driving to the Admiralty, we should go to a meadow outside Berlin where a plane is waiting. I see. But why should the Admiralty believe you persuaded me? I should indicate that uh, once again you have succumbed to my charms. Once again? It happened in Prague, I'm afraid. And you told them a fantastic story like that? Fantastic? Well, four years ago, there was a harvest moon, a young girl, more dashing girl. What do you really mean, all this? It sounds far too simple. I have a very simple mind. But there is one small complication. Uh, I should have to spend the night here. In a purely professional spirit, of course. That isn't necessary. Well, it sort of fits into the picture. The place is absolutely appalling as Gustavo. Have you any sporting instincts? Why? Well, I'll uh, toss you a seat on the couch. But you're treating all this as if it's some sort of joke. You don't seem to realize how much depends upon it. Well, I've never been intense about it. I don't think I like the idea of a firing squad, do you? What? You know, maybe war with Germany tomorrow. But, and don't you think I ought to tell my father about all this? No. Why not? Well, it's hard to go out for a lovesick girl to go popping back to her dad. Wait a bit, waiter. If you can pretend to be my normal son, there will be attracted so much better. All right, I'll try. Thank you. My little Anna. Uh, raining? Uh, no, Miss. Is there anything the matter? Uh, that tune you were whistling, sir, it is an English tune, isn't it? How do you know? I heard it on the radio from London last night. Are you not aware that it seems that foreign broadcast is forbidden, that there is a strict penalty? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not to watch on this occasion, but see that you are more discreet in future. Get out. Oh, very awkward. Lucky it wasn't all the time. Hadn't it rather neatly, I thought? You know, if a woman ever loved you like you love yourself, it would be one of the romances of history. I'm unlikely to think of an adequate reply to that. I think you want to drink a toast. England expects that every secret service man this night shall do his duty. Give me your room. Take a care of your feather. Hello. Is that cough on me? It's the other man. Yes, that's up here. Yes, sir. 
I'm sorry to disturb you at this hour, Herr Scott, but we have to alter our plans. We have just received instructions from headquarters in Munich. The Bomarsh is to go there at once by the first train. But this is ridiculous, sir. Couldn't you delay it for a few hours? Impossible. It is on the third of orders. The train leaves in an hour's time. But, sir, what is the use of sending Herr Bomarsh to headquarters in his present frame of mind? What do you suppose the fearless frame of mind would be if we didn't? I'm sorry, Herr Scott. Let me give you a little once. Only one chance. What? Steve, dear, tell. Scott, an old German custom. But the guard's downstairs. He couldn't be having anything to get out of here. If you don't tell your father, we'll leave here in five minutes. I've been instructed to leave immediately with Peppermint. It's not a quiet, isn't it? Uh, shall I get you a taxi, sir? Call one myself. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'm here to escort Herr Bormash and Fräulein Bormash to Munich. The console phone me ten minutes ago. I was about to drive into the Admiralty myself. My orders are to take them straight to the station. The train leaves in 50 minutes. Never ends the understanding on my part. Very well, we are ready. You, sir? Certainly. Well, you're not told. I have the Admiral's authority to travel with that. You feel the distinction that Herr Bormash should be persuaded to comply with our wishes before he reaches headquarters. Well, that's progressing extremely well with Fräulein Bormash in Manhattan. I see. Very good, sir. Punch. Please? Punch. English magazine. Very humorous. You must have a copy. No. You haven't got a punch, old man. Hasn't she? No. No. So that, I suppose. We'll all leave here and find places that swear. This compartment is commandeered by the police. Come on, go to the station. Because I'll be pretty here, boy. I'll be pretty here. Well, all right, don't bother about a punch. Trailer, but we can have a side each for ourselves, huh? Now, Peter. Want a copy of mine, Camp? Appears to me it might shed a spot of light on all this. How do you do? Never read it. Never had the time. I understand they give a copy for all the bridal couples over here. Why well, don't they get that sort of book, old man? This is the compartment. Why are you still here? Right. You must find other places at once. We have first-class tickets, you know. Outside, please, this compartment has been commandeered by the authorities. That is besides the point. Yes, we're British subjects. Yes. Look here. We, Edward Frederick Lindley, Viscount Halifax, His Majesty's Principal Secretary of State, etc., request all whom it may concern to allow the bearer to pass without let or hindrance and to afford him or her... Outside! I suppose. Can't enough. Waste of time, all this bilge and the password. The two guards' compartment is in there, sir. All right. Thank you. Would you like to face the engine? Whatever you like. Did you notice that German officer who came into our compartment? Yes, what? Well, I could have sworn it was old Dickie Randall. Dickie Randall? Yes, we were very old together. You must have heard me talking about it. He used to bowl slow leg breaks. Played to the gentleman once. Caught and bowled for a duck, I remember. Oh, yes, Dickie Randall. Wait, he's a German officer. How can you think Dickie Randall? Well, I knew him quite well. His rooms were next to mine. Wow, no. You don't think he's working for the Nazis, like that fellow, what's his name? Traitor. Hardly on them. Played to the gentleman. Only once.
last Easter, when I was looking in a shop window in the garden and I saw the reflection of a girl. For a moment, I thought it was you. Were you by yourself? Yes. Why? I just wondered. The Blackout. You know what that means so far west as this? England and France have declared war. You have nothing to fear. The nation is behind the fear. Yes, but how far behind? My golf clubs. Where are they? I lent them to Max in Berlin. Like a fool, I said he needn't bring them back till next Wednesday. Probably seen the last of them. Yes, I expect they'll require them for something or other. I read in the papers that they're putting up a smart rating. Well, I don't see the connection, Ernest. Well, 
You all travel to see you, okay? Yes. Who? Hey, Wally. With the shops, too. Especially me. Why not get in touch with Max? Oh. On the telephone. Ask him to send them to London immediately. Suggest the chance is worth taking. I shall never be able to replace them. Oh, that's the telephone? No. Station master's office. Captain Shutter, master here. I'm speaking from Quebec. Oh, I beg your pardon. Consult Major Hatsop, sir. I think a full inquiry should be made at once in view of something which happened a few minutes ago. A few minutes ago? Do you mean he's with you? Admiral Hassinger gave him the authority. Hassinger did? He never told me. He's very suspicious. Must have the Admiral himself introduced him. I'll ask him. I'll call you back. Uh, what is your number there? Yes, 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 in a few minutes. I know Hassinger, please. Berlin, Oliver 24W. What? Yes, yes, of course it's important. So in German. What? Well, how long then? Oh, all right. Last injunction from Gage by the military, they'll call me back. These people seem to have no idea of business as usual. If I were asked to give a snap judgment, I should say that was an ass. You want to make an effort? I do not know, sir. I used to know someone who made his aces like that. Someone who was? Well, no. Oh, I can't get any stuff. You didn't give him permission to travel with the prisoners, did you, sir? No, no. But he may have assumed it. If you remember, we more or less gave him cut blows. The only thing is to check up with the Garvis. But I didn't give him. Garvis? If he's right, this will be very serious for you, Captain. Yes, yes, indeed. No matter what the judge can do, there's no denying that, Captain. Quite right. I'm afraid I shall have to sack my secretary. Hello? Be our call. Oh, that is my call. Master speaking. Yes, sir. Listen, Master, you are right. We have been completely fooled. Hartshop is not known at the war office. There is no officer of that name in the army list. Then, uh, yes, sir, obviously. An enemy agent. I said, Charles, there's a, another phone in there. Oh, okay. Hello. 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 Oh. Hello. Why not try the thing on my side? Uh, you know, the gadget. Hello. It's empty. Let's have our head. Well, perhaps you'll be off the line in a minute. What's that? They're talking about, what's his name? You know, that's all. No, he doesn't suspect. Yes, sir. No time to send here now, sir. The train is leaving. What? Listen, we can't afford to take risks. Carry on with Hartshaw from Munich. Make him think he's getting away with it, understand? I'll get on to army headquarters there. Very good, sir. What is it? Well, as far as I can make out, Herzog isn't Herzog. What? No, they're sending an escort to arrest him when we get to Munich. Herzog? Yeah. What? You can... Listen, if, if Herzog isn't Herzog, what? Well, he must be Dickie Randall. Yes. Everybody on the train, all passengers aboard, please. All passengers on the last two coaches only. All passengers aboard. After you, mate.
the anticipator on it. What are you saying just now about something emerging very clearly? I say? Hmm. Where? From the castle. About something emerging? Hmm. What was it? What was it? What emerged? You never said. Oh. We do not wish to persuade you to become a national socialist, Evelyn. I shall explain that to your daughter, have I not? Then you may work wherever you choose, Tom. You are so right. After all, we should have our freedom. I know, my dear, but freedom is strangely limited in this country. I do not agree with you, Evelyn. Freedom in Germany is the greatest advance on freedom elsewhere. Properly organized and controlled by the state. I'd much rather we get politics out of it. Evelyn, I unfortunately refuse to understand the sacred importance of announcing world peace. It's Spain, England, perhaps. No doubt, corrupt influence. Corrupt country. Controlled by international Freemasons and the Duke Churchill. What's that you wish to have? I'm sure drop politics and discuss it from a more personal basis. I'm certain, Charles, what you were about to say was that we stumbled on something pretty serious. No doubt which side Randall's playing for. Ours? Yeah. Yes, that's what was emerging so clearly. Well, it's up to us to find some way of warning him. Yes, come on, let's find it. Mr. Colligan. Yes? I think we're wise about you, this. How do you mean? Well, I mean, there's no proof that Randall's word in Green. Well, everything points to it. Yes, but is that enough? We're enemy aliens. These Nazis are pretty free with their firing party. Hmm. We ought to let that stand in our way? Well, certainly not. I mean, if, if we were certain. As it is, we've just got to keep it clear in mind. I don't see what else can be doing. Oh, we know. You may be an international crook. Crooks don't generally play for the gentleman. Well, Raffles do. That's fiction. Still, you may be right, Charles. Of course, if we were certain, we'd do our duty and take the risk. Yes, what? As it is, I can get on with Mein Kampf. I haven't got out of Hitler's boy with yet. And have a match what is even more important. Your daughter will be able to live with you or wherever she be. You must give me time to think. That is. We shall be in Munich in 40 minutes. Indeed. For the first time, I will be sorry when the journey is over. Yes, sir. I can believe that. I think we should order something to eat. An excellent idea. Just in case we do not find headquarters in a very hospitable frame of mind. Please. Oh, sorry. You don't choose to send up any German officer passes? See, we're English. The passports. Oh, beg your pardon. You're quite right. The English should not send that. They should go down on their fat bellies and crawl. Oh, look here. So you are sending up. Very well. We shall generously permit you to run back to England. No doubt you'll find yourself safe jumps. Meanwhile, you may sit down. Fat bellies. Safe jumps. As if they were all taken by now, anyway. Conrad, this is absolutely in time. the last straw. Yes, Charles. We warned to get around with once. Come on, man. I'm with you, old man. It's things like that that bring home to you. Sandwiches, biscuits, yes, sir. Will you take tea substitute or coffee substitute? Tea, thank you. There. That Gestapo fellow's there, too. Yeah. A couple of stormtroopers in there. How the devil are we going to pass him the word without actually spotting him? We've got to do it somehow. Yeah. Of course, he, he might come out for a minute. I mean, most people do. We must act, Charlie. No good hanging about on the off chance. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Hmm? That's uh, Stuart. What about him? Well, he's bound to come back sometime to bring that order. I'm sure, yes. Excuse me. Oh, what's uh, what, what time do you get to Munich? In about 30 minutes. Thank you. All right? Yes, I put underneath the donut. Good. What? How do you know that's a hymn? Because I suddenly remembered that Dickie Randall always had donuts sent up to his room for afternoon tea. <laughs> Very clever of you, old man. We better get along there, eh? Oh, my lord. Well, what's up? Well, I'm, I'm wondering if you want donuts. I, I believe it is rock cake. We made all arrangements to transport the new department. Every arrangement, sir. Will there be more than one car? Almost certainly two. Let's see, that makes seven out of the car. I think in order to finish my talk, I'll make sure I better take a second car. Very good, sir. I believe I've all managed really to gain. See that I am doing my best to help you. I'm sure I'm not. 
Yes, yes, Major. Your attitude has been most real. Just remember, it's only a few hours before father was taken out of the room, that's all. Captain Narsen was only obeying orders. Members of the Gestapo are frequently asked to perform duties that are signed to objectionable. Some are objectionable. Others I find extremely satisfying. I often envy you your opportunities. Yes, I, I'm Randall. How are you, old man? You remember me? Yes. This is Charters, your friend of mine. I do. Well, what is it? We can't. We don't know what you're after, of course. Never mind about that. Whatever it is, you appear to be on the spot. Tell him about it, Charters. Well, I was telling Berlin about my belt cutters. All around the side, the fact I'll never see them again. Yeah, but come on, Well, I was telling you that. I was telling them about the other chap's line, you know, that gets started for them. I overheard him saying they were sending a military escort to arrest you when they get to Munich. You see, you're running. They know you're not hurt, sir. I can't tell you everything there is time, but I've got to get that old man and the girl out of this country at all costs. Are you two fellas going to help me? What, against Germany? I'll say we are, after all they've done for us, what you say, Tommy. Absolutely, old man. Back to the wall. Mm, I hope not. You'll be later tomorrow, I think. Is there any tea left? Yes, I think so, will we? There's no time for tea. You'll reach Munich in a few minutes. Oh, time for just one cup. Take it, darling? No, thank you. I'm afraid I must ask you to drop this little comedy. It'll be very entertaining, but I have certain formalities to attend to. Comedy? What do you mean? Oh, thank you. You're merely pretending to be infatuated with this man. There's no such person as Major Hatzel. He's a British agent trying to get you and your father out of Germany. You must be crazy. Ulrich. I don't first waste the time with the Gestapo to deny you. Thank you. You, you're going to give yourself up? Well, they have lots of proof, Mr. Burnett. An escort would be waiting in Munich to take you in charge. You can't do that. He's an enemy agent. Why, you? Haven't you do exactly the same as he's doing? There's a slight but important difference. I wasn't caught. Are you just going to sit there and do nothing? Now, please, don't make me. Don't you realize what this means? Yes, I do. That he has a gun and I haven't, and he's got a couple of reserves next door. Would you take a bottle of gun? Can't you be serious even now? I told you this would happen. I told you your scheme was absolutely childish, but you wouldn't listen to me. Why didn't you stay in England instead of coming over here and deliberately throwing your life away, you fool? We have no time to listen to this ridiculous display. Right on, right on. From Fifth Army Headquarters to arrest Major Herzog. I hear you will need a stretcher. The prisoner tried to escape and I had to, uh, to deal with him. You will find him in the last department, coach 66. Well, what, uh, what transport have you? Two cars. Excellent. 
Now, this is how Axel Gomez and Hafter and his daughter. They are in uh, protected custody and I have instructions to take them to General von Kahnwitz without delay. With your permission, I will use one of the cars. Certainly. I will need you to take charge of the prisoner. Will you come in my car? Bruno, take this vessel to the car. Code 66, you said? The last compartment. Full length on the seat. Sergeant, get a dress up on the station mast and follow me. Much of a life with secret agent. Well, the pay is bad too, sir. <coughs> I was just thinking, Thomas, in the last war, the army took over Lord's cricket ground and putting troops on. What have they done this time? Short sighted, you know. You better pull up here, Charlie. Come get the assistant man in the main road. Let me take over, will you? Eight around 22, height 54, slim figure, dark, brown eyes. That's a lot. Phone these descriptions to all stations within a hundred mile radius. The report will just come in, sir, that the cars get to the city by the south road. Well, they're making for Switzerland. Please take the road. Very good. There's one thing that's worrying you, Randall, old man. Maybe silly, but of course, but how exactly are we going to get across the Swiss frontier? I know there's a place where he's going climbing about 8,000 feet up where Switzerland and Germany meet. You're not going to ask us to hang about on ropes, I hope. I'm not, the same way. Narrow road leads right to the top. What's over the top? Switzerland. Anything in between? 6,000 feet drop. Well, then how can we uh, skip it? Skip it?
down there and throw his fire. I give you no room. 